In this video, I'm going to talk about data masking. Now, data masking is a security feature within the Dynamics 365 customer service omnichannel application. Data masking is used to block sensitive such as credit card, email address, social security number, etc. Now, this list is not limited to credit card, email address, social security number. You can have your own uh, data format defined. You can create a masking rules to mask such data. Now, the masking rules is created by using regex or a regular expression. So you can define your own regex and then those particular data masking rule can be applied. It is basically setting up a guard against accidental sending of data by agent. So think about it like a customer and agent are interacting and uh, if you don't want accidental information to be shared by an agent to the customer, then that can be protected using data masking. Now, it's not just a one way street. It can be the other way around as well. So take, for example, if customer is sh uh, sharing some information with an agent, uh, like a sensitive information, like an email address or a credit card number, even that can be protected and agent will not be able to receive those information back. Okay. Now, masking rules are set by defining the regular expression. Mass data will be correspondingly masked in transcript as well. So it's not that it's just in the user interface of the chat, but uh, once the transcript is downloaded, this information will also be masked in the transcript. Now, masking rules can be set to active inactive. You can create a masking rules and then you cannot use them by setting it to be inactive. Mask data from the customer, like an inbound, and mask data from agent, which is outbound. Okay, so both sided data can be masked. Now, only 10 data masking rules can be used as of now. Okay. Now, here, if you see here, uh, this is the masking rule which you can set up uh, as you see in this interface. So, uh, I will show you in the demo how uh, these all things work. Now, let me go into an administration center. So, let me go into admin center. Yep. Let me discard the changes. And, okay. <clears throat> so, I'm in the customer service admin center. If I go to search admin center, uh, search admin settings, I'll put data mask as an input. And here, I will see under productivity data masking. So, if I go to productivity on the left hand side, if I scroll down, I can see data masking. Now it says create rules to mask sensitive data sent by customers or agents, such as credit card info, social security number, or profanity as well. Okay. So if I click on manage, now there are masking rule which has already been created. Now it is enabled. Now if you see here, I, I was talking about inbound and outbound. It says mask private agent data from the customer. Okay. So, so if customer sends out, uh, like an inbound uh, that can also be turned on and off and mask private customer data from the agent so this is outbound okay so this can be turned on and off you can selectively uh, pick up what you want better to have both this enabled okay now masking rules these three will be available by default and you can see the regular expression over here okay now uh, you can create your own masking rule so if I click on new masking rule I can create a new masking rule by specifying the name description and regular expression and what type of mask character I want hash exclamation or whatever okay now let me discard this exchange and show you the credit card information so if you see this credit card information over here uh, here I can see that credit card information uh, it says it matches credit card number so if the credit card number is matched then uh, this particular masking rule will be uh, taking into effect now how does this work so let me let me put the credit card number okay so let, let me put this credit card number so this is some random number which i'm generating okay now see what happens once you enter the test data okay see the mass test data how it will look it will look like this okay because this is a real credit card number now if i put one more number okay because this is a 16 digit number if i put one more number okay now see how this thing uh, appears over here because it has recognized that any number which is starting with 41 is a credit card number okay now if i make this as a okay then 
it will still recognize that hey something is off over here okay the 16 digit is like maybe credit card number but if i remove all these things over here okay it won't recognize that this is like a credit card number or so okay now that's the beauty of this regular expression okay now how this works in action i'll show you in a moment let me show you email address as well like an email address if i type in let's say gary at uh, .com. so this is an email address now this is how it will be masked okay now if i remove this at the red sign then this is not an email address and then this is like a pure text and this can be displayed as it is now how this works in action is let me see if i have any conversation opened okay so i have this conversation open so this is a customer basically so let me show you this customer so this is a customer and this is the agent which is conversing with that customer okay as you see here side by side this is a customer uh, and this is an agent okay now let's assume if an agent starts sharing uh, let me share credit details okay and if the agent starts typing this number okay okay see what happens okay the customer side uh, it will be shown as in hash okay so that means the customer cannot see the credit card information shared by the agent and neither agent can see what he has typed okay because this is all masked now let's see if the other way around is true or not so if i put four one two five seven eight nine four five four six four five, one, one. okay if i type in this information then we can this is masked at both the side okay uh see what happens if the customer shares their email address okay so if the customer says okay let me share my email address okay now even that email address is not uh, shown over here it is masked okay now if an agent wants to share his email address okay then even that is masked so this is basically a live example of uh, masking uh, personal information now this again i told you this is not limited to credit card or email address uh, it can be ssn it can be your tfn number for australian tax file number it can be your medicare number it can be uh, you know, any private information uh, for your uh, organization which you do not want to share uh, with uh, the agent as well as with the customer just to uh, keep uh, you know, all security get pay okay so that's basically all about uh, creating a data masking rule within your organization and then enforcing it so that uh, private informations are not shared across within the organization thanks for watching